Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. I have Galaxy S7, the Exynos chipset international model. I am using Android Oreo, the latest and the last release for the Galaxy S7 on it. Now I want to get a change on Samsung S7 by flashing a MIUI ROM on it. This ROM will work on Galaxy S7 flat model, the international one, Exynos chipset and plus the Korean model. And also this ROM will work on Galaxy S7 Edge, the international model Exynos 1 and also the Korean model. In case if you want to get a change on your Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge model, then watch this full video. Do not skip any part and get flash the MIUI ROM on your Galaxy S7. Going to my settings, my set settings then to about phone. Galaxy S7 model is G930F going to software information so I have Android version 8.0 Samsung experience version is 9.0 and build number you can see that this is the latest and last release for the Galaxy S7 now tap the build number for seven times to turn on the uh, developer options developer mode has been turned on go back Go back again scroll down you will see developer options tap on it and turn on the OEM unlock so it will let us to flash the custom recovery on it go back now if you have a Google account login then go to the Google account sync it first and then remove it must if you have set the lock screen password then go to the lock screen and security and turn off the lock screen password now you can see that the battery should be charged around 50 to 60 percent plus save all your internal storage data first and must because this procedure will format all the data if you have done all these things then turn off the mobile right now so we will going to flash a custom recovery on it now moving towards my computer screen let me show you what we have to download first this procedure will require a data cable plus a computer this is my folder where i have saved all the files and links are provided in my video description first of all download the samsung usb driver for mobile phone install it on windows so after booting the galaxy s7 into odin mode and connecting it with windows the drivers will get automatically installed then download the Odin 3.12.7 and extract it then download the MIUI 8 custom ROM for Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge and then the last file is the custom recovery so do not extract the custom recovery and custom ROM just extract the Odin 3.12.7 now double click on the extracted folder of Odin and double click on the Odin 3.12.7 the Odin screen will get uh, open click the AP section go to the downloaded folder and select the custom recovery from here that is this the custom recovery is for Galaxy S7 flat click open the Odin is ready to flash the custom recovery on Galaxy S7 moving towards my mobile phone now mobile phone must be power off boot the mobile phone into Odin mode by pressing and holding the volume down key then home key and the power key just uh, hold it press wait the warning screen will get appear then release all the keys now press and uh, just press the volume up key once the set will boot into Odin mode connect the cable with mobile phone and as soon you connect the cable with mobile phone the Odin will show the sign that uh, set is properly connected moving towards my computer screen here it is Odin is showing this mean com 33 that the set is perfectly connected go to the option and untick the auto reboot you must untick the auto reboot go back to lock and then press start the custom recovery flashing will start it and will get ended soon the pass message will get appear on the ordinates mean that the custom recovery is flashed properly now disconnect the cable from mobile phone right now we have to boot the set into custom recovery hold the phone in your hands then press and hold the volume up key then down key then home key and then power key hold it press 
until set re get reboot the samsung logo appear then release the volume up a down key volume down key first then power key and but do not release the volume up key and home key until the custom recovery screen appears okay press and hold the volume up key first then volume down key then home key and power key press it hold it press wait set will get reboot here it is release the volume up key first release the power key now when appear the logo get appear but do not release the volume up key and home key just wait custom recovery screen appear then release both keys this is how the way we have to boot the mobile phone s7 into custom recovery now connect the cable again with the mobile phone as soon as you connect the cable you gonna see the internal storage but it is not showing so wait for it now unlock the screen first and swipe to allow the modification swipe it now go to the wipe section because you can see that the internal storage we cannot see on the computer screen we cannot even copy or paste the file now uh, tap on format data here then type y e s then tap on it here it will start formatting and after when this get end you're gonna see the internal storage on your computer screen here we have the data get formatted now go back to the main screen and now moving towards my uh, downloaded folder i will uh, close this audio then i will go to my downloaded folder going back to my main folder here we have the custom rom i will copy the custom rom from here and i will paste it to my internal storage of galaxy s7 well the rom file copied in my uh, galaxy s7 internal storage disconnect the cable from the mobile phone right now and uh, unlock the screen of custom recovery now tap on wipe then advanced wipe select the delvic art cache then system then data and then cache do not select the internal storage swipe to start wiping when it's done go back to the main screen tap on install then select the custom rom file from here swipe to start flashing just wait for it now here is the procedure that you have to follow now tap on next then tap agree and tap next yes i want to do and full wipe data factory reset this is already selected so leave it selected tap on next here you have to select your csc well i will go for the malaysia xme you can select according to your csc right well i my country is not malaysia but i will go for the malaysia tap next then uh, tap if you want to apple emojis then you can leave the selection otherwise if you are going for the samsung then select the samsung tap next you can select whatever you like i will go with the 4 multiply by 6 tap next now on this screen if you have galaxy s7 edge the international model go for the s7 edge if you have a korean one s7 edge then select the korean one and in case like uh, my set is galaxy s7 international i will select the s7 flat international model in case if you have a galaxy s7 flat korean model then you can select the korean model tap next and tap next the flashing will start and soon it will get uh, and just wait for it well the installation completed just tap next now uh, tap on finish you must see that there is no check sign press next to back to recovery just leave it uh, empty here and tap the finish swipe to unlock the screen and simply wipe cache delvic tap on it swipe then tap reboot system to and tap do not install the set will get uh, reboot and will start booting into miui 8 rom on the galaxy s7 so finally the set uh, get booted and here is the miui 8 screen on the galaxy s7 Let's complete the setup screen right we have miui 8 on galaxy s7 
let me check the about phone we have a little animation here like uh, scrolling down and scrolling going upside to in the settings you can see that about phone model number is j sorry g935 android version is 6 well this is miui 8 so it must be on android version 6 i, I was having a stock rom uh, android version 8 if you want to downgrade you can also downgrade galaxy s7 with custom rom you cannot downgrade the stock rom from android 8 to android 6 but you can downgrade in custom rom by flashing a custom rom of marshmallow you can see that this uh, miui 8 is uh, android version 6 well uh, only one thing that we have to do if we go to the account section other account section you will see that uh, there is no google account still but the google account is installed one file we have to download the, we can see that play store is there only the google play services that we have to download manually by internet the link is provided in my video description download the file and copy it into your galaxy s7 connect the cable with mobile phone and then allow it so the internal storage will get appear on your computer screen here is the file google play services copy this file from here and paste it to the internal storage of your galaxy s7 disconnect the cable from mobile phone now we have to install the, this google play services file manually by going to the tools folder and opening the file explorer and here is the file tap on it tap on settings then allow the unknown services tap ok go back and again tap on the google play services file tap install the star file will start it installing on galaxy s7 tap done and uh, if we go again to the settings then to the account section tapping on the other account and tapping on add now you can see the google account is there if you tap on it then it will start uh, will ask you to sign in your uh, email id then giving to the password and it will get uh, connected with google so you can download uh, uh, files from the play store and you can enjoy the miui 8 on your galaxy s7 so this was uh, how do we can flash custom rom miui 8 on galaxy s7 you can enjoy the MIUI 8 on your Galaxy S7 if you want to have a change on your Samsung mobile phone. Take a good care of yourself. Thank you. Goodbye. We'll see you next time.